Hello everyone and welcome to another Rivian Tracker Rivian Tip of the Day video. Today I want to talk about the service menu. Now I'm not talking about the ride menu which is a different video that we're going to be discussing in the future but this is a service menu which is accessible from the gear which is the settings, vehicle and then service. Now, I just wanna run through this very quickly. There's a bunch of different settings in here that can help you service your vehicle uh, throughout various different things that you may need to do. For, the, for example, the first one is called wiper service, which you can turn on and it will lift the wipers up to a servicing position so you can easily swap them out, clean them, do whatever you need to do. You can turn that back off there and it will say uh, wipers on glass. Yes, make sure that the wipers are on glass because otherwise you will damage your windshield. The next one we have is the start cleaning. I use this one a lot to clean the screen without interfering with any buttons. As you can see all the fingerprints. Once you do that, you can press and hold the done button and add one more fingerprint to your new clean screen. Uh, the next one we have here is called tire change. Once you enable this, uh, it says right height changes will be unavailable. This is, and then you'll see a little notification up here. This is great for when you are getting your tires rotated at a discount tire or at Rivian so that the auto height adjustment does not trigger and cause any issues with your Rivian vehicle. Rivian also suggests that you put your vehicle in all-terrain mode and then set it to the highest ride height before changing any tire. So I recommend doing all of that before you do tire change. <clears throat> the next one is called Park Brake Release. This allows you, when loading your Rivian onto a flatbed truck, to be able to disable the park release and release it. So you'll want to make sure that you're on flat ground, foot on the brake, in order for it to be enabled. And once you do that, it will tell you that the brake will re-engage after 15 minutes to make sure to put do this in a uh, rolling. And as you can see, we're rolling! stop that and you get a little countdown timer up there telling you that the override will come back into place after 15 minutes we'll turn that off i'm gonna reverse myself back into my driveway so i'm not blocking the sidewalk okay uh moving on to the next screen we have the show and tell this one is pretty much just for fun if you're ever at a car show or maybe on halloween you want to show off all of the lights in your rivian you can do that without having to run the AC and without having the vehicle lock itself. You can do show and tell. And then it also even gives you the option to limit climate performance, which will turn off the air conditioning to avoid any water buildup and humidity. Uh, you can turn that off and still have the AC run like normal, uh, but by default it will turn on. And then you can turn that off there. Then we have service mode. Service mode is typically what Rivian will put your vehicle in when they're servicing it. Uh, this will also make your vehicle unavailable from the mobile app. In a future video, we'll talk a little bit more about service mode. And then finally, uh, well, not finally, but we have vehicle shipping. This prepares your vehicle for a long haul shipping on a flatbed. It makes sure that your vehicle is set to the lowest available ride height before shipping it. Um, it pretty much just says, hey, the windows are going to roll up automatically. This is going to turn off the alarm system, all that good stuff. And you hit prepare for shipping and the vehicle will adjust itself for shipping. Next, we have driver position calibration. Sometimes the steering wheel and the driver's seat just decal like uncalibrate themselves, right? And so with this ability, you can come in here and hit driver's seat and it will go ahead and cal kind of calibrate itself uh, completely. So you'll want to make sure you have nothing behind you. You want to make sure that you hit next and then it'll say, hey, this is going to take like a minute. It's going to take a couple of minutes to do. But once it's finished, you'll have to reset, reset your driving position. So make sure that you only do this with the fact that you will lose the saved driving position. Same thing with the steering wheel here. If it will calibrate your steering wheel to the proper height, um, it will tell you, hey, please leave <laughs> the, the vehicle so we can start the calibration. I'm not gonna run it, but that is something you can do. And then finally, we have clear settings. This is the screen you would go into when you want to clear out all of the settings 
because you're selling your vehicle or trading it in or whatever you might do. So this will remove all history, anything that has to do with you as a person in this vehicle. But do not do this unless you're actually selling the vehicle because otherwise it's going to be awkward. Um, that's it, guys. This was the service menu. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this Rivian tip of the day.